Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. Siavaj is here and in today's tutorial we are going to start some routing concept. After you learned about the switching, now it's a time to become familiar with the routing and uh, some technology behind that. So let's begin by adding the first router. I'm using the 2811 because I've got plan to do some VPN tutorial in the future, so it's better we following the same scenario in this case. Uh, by using the 2811, we no need to worry about the future licensing and those kind of things. Add two switches, 2960 can be any switches, and finally add two PCs. Okay, the two generic PC should be okay. Let's connect them. Start from the PC, pass Ethernet 0, let's connect to the FA010 and connect the switch from the FA01 to the FA00 on the router side. Connect the switch FA0 now to the FA0 slash 1 and connect the PC1 pass Ethernet to the port number 10. So we have our LAN side and let's document our work. Let's assume we connect the 192.168.0. 10.0 slash 24 network for this side of the LAN and let's name it LAN 1 okay cool this is nice and we have a LAN 2 also LAN 2 192.168.20.0 slash 24 for this side of our network and let's assign the IP for the PCs uh, following the 10 should be okay 10 here 10 here and let's assume our gateway is 250 and 250 so no worry this is just for documentation purpose which is very important in the real world so 10 yeah yeah let's start with our pc0 okay i'm going to ip configuration 192.168.10.10 and 192.168.10.250 Set the gateway and the PC1 192.168.20.10 and 192.168. Let's let's don't set the default gateway to see what's different exactly. So let's go to the router this time. CLI. Get right of the wizard. Enable the router. Go to global configuration mode by comp T and do show IP interface brief. Take a look at our interface status. Both interfaces are down, administratively done, and interface FA0 is like zero, which is connected to the LAN one. No shot. IP address 192.168.10.250 with the subnet mask of 24 or 255.255.255.0. Exit interface and let's configure FA0 slash 1 to our to the IP address 192.168.20.250 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and no shot. So let's uh, take a close look to configuration. Here we go. FA00, no shot. Set the IP address. This is act as our gateway for LAN 1. FA0 slash 1, IP address 20.250, and no shot. And let's check our configuration. Exit, control Z, and show IP interface brief. Here we go. Both our interfaces are physically up and protocol also up. The IP address are set correctly. Okay, here we go. So let's take a look at the PC1. And try to ping gateway ping 192.168.10.250. Okay, I can ping the gateway successfully. And uh, this is additional uh, command for you. Just take a look at the CLI on a switch. I want to show you the show MAC address table, which is shows that how the switch is fill up the CAM table or MAC address table in this case. So FA0 slash 1 is connected to the 6201 MAC address, which belongs to the router interface, and FA0 slash 10 is connected to our MAC address of the PC. We can verify by going to the PC. Here, you can go to the physical config. 
fast Ethernet and you can see 83 BA is an interface, is a MAC address belong to the network card on a PC. On the router side, you can just easily use the show interface and take a look at here. We have a 620-1, which is populated in a MAC address table of the switch correctly. Here we go. So let's me go to the PC and desktop, command prompt. We can ping our gateway. Let's try to ping other interface of the router, which is 20.250. We can successfully ping there. And let's finally try to ping the PC1. And here we go. But unfortunately, we couldn't ping. You might guess the reason. Uh, purposely, I didn't assign any gateway on a PC1 to show you that without the setting gateway, actually the ping can reach here. But when the ping reply, ICMP reply is back to the router, this PC doesn't know how to reach to the 192.168.10.0 network. So we need to set up the gateway on a PC1. Here we go. Desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.20.250, gateway of the LAN 2. And if you go back to PC1, this time using up arrow, successfully we can ping. So the, the ping will be goes through the switch, then the router reach to the PC1. PC1 knows how to get back to the 192.168.10.0. We can test on a PC1 side, go to the command prompt, IP config, IP is correctly set. 192.168.10.10 which is the PC on the LAN 1 and we can successfully ping the other side of the network as you can see by using the routing inside the router 0 we can provide the communication between these two LAN so let's take a look inside the router so the very useful command always for you show IP route here we go by using the show IP route I can zoom it for you and you can see here we have a show IP route this is the result codec or legend are here showing that what kind of the routing protocol are used in this case we have two C which means that they are directly connected to the router interfaces one of them is 192.168.10.0/24 directly connected pass it in a 0 slash 0 and the other one is 192.168 the 20.0/24 and this is directly connected to router that's the reason the packets can be traveled among the networks by using the routing inside the router so let's add one interface uh, on this router let's save our works we can use the wr so the configuration would be okay show a startup to take a look startup config make sure the configuration is saved okay it looks okay because i need to turn off this route to add one interface as a nick inside so go to the cli i mean the physical turn it off user the switch the router is turned off and we can add one uh let's add uh, one mm -hmm. these are the all the physical modules you can add to your router as you can see we have a several slots here um, let me choose one hmm, you can see you can click here and it show you what you want provide fast Ethernet interface for use with the copper media and you can see is it we have let's try with um, mm -hmm. TX should be okay easy easier for you just in case we add one of those big but yeah, let's try what, what about the one of the H week uh, that doesn't really matter I'm just one to you become familiar with these things yeah let's go week 2t easy use serial interfaces and we can see how it will goes connect that turn on back this router up go to the cli and watching the booting of the router in a short while it will be boot up let me when the router is booting up i add 12811 router here go to the router turn it off add one 2t Week 2T to that as well. So turn it on back. Okay, it's booting up. Okay, and connect these two together. I can use it automatic connection between these two router. As you can see, it's automatically selected the, the fiber uh, for the serial interface between, sorry, serial interface between two routers. 
and set the one clock on a one side of that is a good opportunity we take a look at the serial configuration on a router as well so let's make this network a bit neat add one more switch on the other side here we go it's better add one more pc here, here let's connect them properly fast oops no need take a UTP cable faster than that following the same standard to ease of use connect the zero slot one go fast attend that zero slot zero it's ready to go and let's name it this range of network 172.16.0 slash 0 slash 30 so we only need two IP address from this communication uh, yes, I don't okay, I don't mind and here should be dot one and this side should be one dot two okay here we go ready to go mm -hmm, nice okay don't have any work with this switch let's set up the IP address on this PC 192.168.30.10 and the gateway will be following the same method 30.250. Okay. 192.168.30.0 slash 24. And we call it LAN3. Here we go. And this is a LAN3, this side of the network. And the dot 10 is the IP address of the PC. Dot 250 is a gateway for a PC. And here we go. Phase zero, stage zero. Let's set the LAN side. Go to the router number one. Enable the router. Global configuration mode. Interface phase zero, stage zero. IP address 192.168.30.250 slash 24. No shot. Show IP interface brief. You are quite familiar with these commands and no need to wait too much. Faster than 0 slash 0. Connect to LAN 3 with IP address of 30.250. Both physical and layer 2 protocol is up and ready to go. So let's test. We can ping our friend, the router 1. Wait for this interface coming up. And let's just name it as a WAN 1. Okay, that's cool. Much more neater, nicer. This is a topology. We can continue working on that in the future, maybe. Let's go to PC. Try to ping 192.168.30.250. We can ping gateway. Well, let's try to ping the other side. No point. We still don't bring up the WAN interface. So go to the router 0. Enable, show IP interface brief to make sure that the configuration is not gone. Okay, cool. Faster to net 0 slash 0 and faster to net 0 slash 1. IPs are there. Global configuration, interface, serial 0 slash 3 slash 0. No shot. IP address 192.172.16. Uh, 0 0.1, 255, 255, 255, 252. Okay. And the clock rate, we can set, since this is a clock side and DC side, we can go with any, any speed you want. Let's go on 28. Now, don't forget to use a question mark all the time. Show IP interface brief. If I can type brief. Okay, correct. Okay, the link is down because the other side is not coming up yet. Show IP rod. Let's see is does it add anything? Not yet because the interface is not up to add the router information face into the router. Let's go to the router one. Okay, one interface is ready to go. Let's set up the WAN interface. Interface S0 slash 30. No shot. IP address 172.16.0 slash 2, 255, 255, 255, 254. Oh, when the interface physically come up. 252, okay, slash 30. Show IP interface brief. Okay, let's try to ping. 
172.16.0.1. I can ping easily the other side of the van link. Let's try in a router 0. Okay, it shows that the link is up. Okay, state up and the ping 172.16.0.2. I can ping other side of the van port. Show IP route. And now is the time that router shows that 172.16. Dot zero, dot zero is directly connected to serial interface and we have that link as well however the problem is now when we try to ping other side of the van like 192.168.30.10 we don't get any reply because indeed our router doesn't know how to send the traffic back to the PC2 on a LAN tree. So we need to add the static route new entry to show that the traffic must be, if one to reach to the 30 network, LAN tree network must go through this route interface and goes to reach to destination. I go to the router 0, the command is conf t IP route. We are going to add the static route, use a question mark for destination of 192.168.30.0 with the destination prefix max like 255, 255, 255.0 question mark going to where? we can choose the forwarding router's address which is 172.16.00.2 or we can just easily say that okay go out from the serial 03.0 it's up to you but usually it's better it's what, what you it's, it chooses yours actually it chose yours not really matter what you're choosing because from the administrative distance they are almost the same but connected is uh, much more accurate okay I go to 172.16.0.2 and here we go checking the show oh let me show you the command first so IP route 192.168 8.30.0 subnet slash 24 goes to the 172.16.0.2 this is uh, if you want to reach this network you must go through this inter IP address or interface it's up to you let me go show IP route and here you can see another static route is add to a routed routing table for a slash 24 30.24 slash 24 you can reach to the this network 30.0 slash 24 via 172.16.0 and network slash 2 and here you can see the number 1 here I will explain about the administrative distance in the future when we have a more uh, lesson about that so we have to do the same things on the other side of the van because in previous experience you see when the PC1 try to PC PC0 try to ping PC1 the packet goes but don't know how to come back. In this case also PC10 knows how to reach to LAN3 networks. But LAN3 networks doesn't know how to come back to the LAN01. So we go to the router 1. Global configuration. IP route. Same command. 192.168.10.0. 255.255.255.0 we can send it out from the 172.16.0.1 and show IP route here we go let's zoom it and see how the configuration IP route if you want to reach the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 take this IP address and goes out we can use the serial 0 slash 3 dot slash 0 as well and here we go we have an IP route we add the static route is yes, telling the same thing technically and we have two connected interface as well 172.16.00 as well as 192.168.30 so when we try to ping the other side of the van technically we can get a reply and the packet will be reachable from the LAN 1 to the LAN 3. Let's try the PC2 on the LAN 3 and the ping 192.168.10.10 and we can successfully ping other side of the van but 
Well, as you can see, only we can ping 10.10, .10, not 20.10, .10, which is LAN 2. And I'm sure you know the reason now, because we don't set any routing on router 1 to set that if you want to reach the 192.168.20.0 going through the which interface or going to the next hub is what IP address. So in next video, we tried working on this topology. Furthermore, you will learn how you can play with the static route as well as uh, the default route on the router. I hope this is informative and please subscribe to our channel, send your feedbacks and comments and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.